Hi guys. Do you notice that? I didn't say hey guys. I, did, I said hi guys. Hi guys. Another video for you here. Um, a lot of people have asked me how I make that shh sound, which is called white noise. Um, a lot of the time I just use samples uh, because it's a very easy sound to, to make and so I don't even bother making it. I just use samples um, from the Vengeance packs and wherever really. They're, they're all over the place. But anyway, you can make them. I do use them in my songs, the ones that I've made. Um, and I'll show you how in Massive, and I'll show you how in another free synth. So people, who, if they don't have Massive, they can still make it on most synths. So um, here we are here. That's just the default sound. Now, the, we want to make this white noise, we need to use the noise oscillator. So take off these three oscillators. There you go, you're left with nothing now. Come down here, this is our noise oscillator. This is the one, so we're going to push it up to filter one, leave it on white noise, but you've got all this other cool stuff here. It's, if you've got, you know, like a, a, f a spare hour or a half an hour, come in here and play with this stuff, because you, you can make some cool stuff. You can make all sorts of hi-hats and everything cool like that. Um, in fact, I make a lot of my hi-hats using white noise. Uh, okay, so white noise. What I do is, this is how I make it. Uh, I'm gonna use the ma I'm gonna use a macro here for some uh, macro goodness. Okay, so what have we got? Okay, so here's all of a sudden now you can almost hear that sound straight away. Come over to number four here, the envelope. Push the level up. Okay, so that's putting the sustain up, so it's gonna hold that note. Come back down here. Um, up to the filter, low pass filter. Push that up. There you go, that's pretty much the sound. So as soon as you start automating it, that's how you do it. Okay, but I use a macro with my sound, so what I do is I pull the color down up there, grab this little macro. So click on this cross here, drop it in the box, drag, push up, there's one macro done. I then pull the cutoff down. Oh, yeah, no, I do. Pull the cut off down. Same macro. Push up. Now then, the resonance. About there. Same macro again. Click and hold up. Now, if you guys don't know what these macros are, basically, when I turn that one knob, okay, when I turn it, say I turn it all the way open, that is basically this yellow line here, turning this knob all the way to there, turning this knob all the way to there, and so on, okay? So that full yellow turn is this, even this small part here, okay? So it doesn't turn this knob all the way around, it just turns this knob as far as this yellow line is assigned, okay? Um, so that's how it works. With this one turn of a knob, you turn, sounds pretty funny, I don't know, but it turns all these knobs at once. Very cool tool. I use it a lot. Um, what else I do? I usually, I usually come into the EQ department here and get a little bit sneaky. wouldn't say it's a very cool trick, but it's one of my tricks I've been doing for a wee while. Okay, again, this is all that same macro. So what I do is, as this is turning up, it's building. Okay, now once I get to the top here, once I've fully opened it, towards the end, um, towards, you know, when everything's nearly fully open, like the cutoff, this low shelf is actually, it's taking some of the low end out, and it's putting some high end in. So as it's getting real close to the you know to the to the big drop to the climax it's making a lot more room um, on the low end and it's sort of like it's sort of like high passing it right towards the end so as I as the cutoff is getting open fully opened it's taking the low end out and it's putting some high end in um, which is real good it gives you lots of space and it sounds really nice if you know you get it into a nice drop this one here dimension expander oh. This one you can just play with yourself, just makes it sound bigger. You can use you can use reverb too. Um, and this one here, I, I use 
the uh, what don't I use? Chorus. That's fine. The chorus is fine. Um, and again, I actually use a macro with this one. Bring the rate down slightly. I've just brought the dry wet up a fraction. Gone back to the same macro. Put it in here. And about there is usually where I have it. So this is me holding the key down now. Bring it up. There we go. That's how I do it. Um, piece of cake, really. So, by, um, what I'd do is, if I was to record some, like so. If I was to zoom in, press Z. Okay, Z, and that makes it zoom in. Press A for the automation. Come in here, massive, macro one. There we go. This is it. This is the thing that does all the magic. Easy. Um, you don't have to use a macro, you can just, but in that case, you'd have to use all those knobs individually. So you'd have to go in here, massive, find the cutoff, find the resonance in each knob, and um, it takes quite a while. And that's why I use. Um, yeah, that's why I use that one macro. Macros are very cool, alright? So you, you should learn how to use them. They become very handy. Um, and also, like I said, I'd show you how to use it in a free in a free synth. This one here. That's the default sound, which is actually quite an awesome sound for a default free synth sound. Anyway, turn the sub off. We just want one oscillator. I'll do this one a bit quicker because it's pretty basic. So we've got one oscillator here, oscillator one, there it is. So if you ever wonder what that noise wave, you know, you've, if you've seen noise around, or that, that real crazy looking um, oscillator waveform, where it just goes up and down in crazy shapes, that's what the noise wave is, okay? There it is there. Again, this is just, a, there's no macro, so you have to use this one individually. There's the cutoff. Bang, you're sweet. So, with this one, obviously you automate, you'd go in here, oh, and you'd go into um, this one here, and you'd find the cutoff, like so, and the resonance, and you'd draw in your lines. But if I was to be using um, a free synth that doesn't have all those onboard effects, like Massive does, then your door, your, you know, your computer program will come with those. So I'd chuck in a flanger, for example, Chorus, whichever one, and you get some crazy effects. You know, stuff like that, whatever. Whatever you want. Some crazy stuff like that. Um, and I also, I sometimes put in a sample delay. Whatever. Make it wide, some reverb, some EQ, whatever you want. But for those people who want to make your own sounds, you can. Just look for the oscillator called noise, or it's got a pretty funny looking waveform. Um, yeah, it's on It's on lots of synths. I'm sure you guys will have a synth, one synth at least, that can do it. Massive, I'm going to go out there and say it's probably the best one for it. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. So you can do everything that you want in that Massive. And that's how you make that sound. Hopefully, I'm going to be putting out another video, maybe today, hopefully, if I get some time, on how to build a drum beat, um, as I have to make another, I have to make a, a song to be uh, released, hopefully, onto a just a two-track EP. So, I'll hopefully, I'll maybe even show you the one that I make in a track. But yeah, now I've got some, uh, I've got some things coming up for you guys, so... I'm sorry I haven't been putting out yeah, many vids lately, just busy. But um, still there, still reading all your mail, stuff like that. So thanks again, guys, and I hope this has helped a few people out who've asked how to make the effects, the build-ups, and the drops. Because you can use this as a drop, obviously. You can just set the cutoff up and then bring the cutoff down, and you can use that after a drop. Cool. Thanks, guys.